Okay, we do ratio and proportions, the basics of ratio and proportions. First of all, the first step in solving ratio and proportion problems is to identify whether the proportion is a direct proportion or an inverse proportion. Let's see, in simple words, in a case of two variables, if the value of one variable increases when the value of the other one increases, it means both are going in the same direction and increase, this is the case of a direct proportion. Or if the value of one variable decreases when the other one is decreasing, this is also a case of a direct proportion. On the other hand, if the value of one variable decreases when there is a corresponding increase in the value of the other one or vice versa, it means they are going in opposite directions. So this is the case of an inverse proportion. Let's do some examples to understand what does it mean. Okay, so the question says the weight of 45 books is 13.5 kilograms. What will be the weight of 56 similar books? So there are two variables here, books and weight. What's the relationship between books and weight? Yes, more books, more weight. So if we increase the number of books, the weight should also increase. This tells us that this is a case of a direct proportion. Now how, what to do when it's a case of a direct proportion? First of all, we'll just make a simple table. So books versus weight, 45 books are away, are uh, 45 books weigh 13.5 kilograms so how much is the weight of 56 books okay so we have placed these now because it's a case of a direct proportion in case of a direct proportion this is what we do okay we cross it what do we mean by crossing so 45 is connected to x it means that 45 times x equals 56 times 13.5. This is what we do in case of a direct proportion. Now we'll just simplify this. So x equals this, 45 comes on this side, the right hand side, and we solve it and we get x equals 16.8 kilograms, which is the answer to this question. Okay, let's do another example. It was estimated that 12 books can dig, a 12 boys can dig a certain trench in four hours at the same time how many boys will be able to take the same trench in three hours so there are two variables boys versus hours what's the relationship if you increase the number of boys it should take less hours so they are going in opposite directions this is a case of an inverse proportion so boys versus hours yes 12 boys in four hours how many boys in three hours okay because it's a case of an inverse proportion so this is what we do okay these blue lines will tell you which number will be multiplied to which one so 3 is to be multiplied by x and it will be equal to 12 multiplied by 4 this gives us after solution x equals 16 boys so 16 boys are required to take the trench in 3 hours okay so we have understood the basics of ratio and proportion problems we'll do more complex problems in the coming lessons thank you